Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So today, instead of reviewing Full Metal Panic, which, you know, we'll try to get it done by next week, we're reviewing uh, OVA series, Shin Getter Robo vs. Neo Getter Robo, which was four episodes that came out in 2000 to 2001, which was sold on, like, uh, DVDs, where, where, like, they would put out one episode... <laughs> DVD, which is like holy crap! Thank God we live in modern times, which would have been kind of a ripoff because like I think at each episode is like 28 minutes or, or whatever, which altogether the the it, it's basically an hour and 44 minutes, which I got this thanks to Discotech. I picked it up around the same time I got. Uh, Get a Robo Armageddon, aka New Get a Robo or Shin Get a Robo. So right off the bat, you need to know is the title Shin Get a Robo versus Neil Get a Robo is a lie. <laughs> um, and I think I figured that out like pretty much right away when I saw it, hey that a lot of this is like an alternate universe and like Shin. And some of the other guys that aren't uh, around, which, you know, Shin Get a Robo was made for Shin. <laughs> so it's like, wow. Which doesn't, re- they don't really make a lot, of, doesn't really make a lot of sense, like, uh, how they have Shin Get a Robo. And, like, the, the what's his name? Sadatomi, Professor Sadatomi is not in, in this, uh, I think his name was Sadatomi, the, the creator of Get a Robo. He's not here. In this show, there's a guy, a fat, a fat old professor who looks a lot like Musashi. <laughs> so I thought, oh my god, is that Musashi? But no, he he died like in the beginning of the show, which the show um, shows you the getter, the original getter team, and this alternate universe fighting this uh, rep, uh, this reptilian empire <laughs> of like dinosaur men that lived uh, underground that tried to, uh, you know, just des- destroy humanity with their mecha sauruses, which is like, you know, dinos- robot- dinosaur-themed robots, which some of them were pretty cool. One of them was, like, just a regular robot, but had, like, two, like, two lizards in its neck that had, like, giant tails that would use for whips, which our characters had to kill. So yeah, after Musashi uh, dies, um, after Musashi dies, they make a new robo, a uh, new robot called a Neo a Neo Getter Robo. That's not that's not uh, powered by Getter rays. It's it's powered by plasma energy, which right off the bat lets you know that oh, this robot sucks compared to like, Getter uh, Getter Robo because obviously Getter rays. Not only are Getter Rays the weakness of the Reptilians, it was the reason why they had to live underground, which is why they're trying to terraform the planet. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense why they would change the power source. But yeah, it just lets you know that, oh yeah, this at some point in this uh, show, they're going to... Uh, they're gonna use Shin Geta Robo uh, at, at the end or whatever. They're gonna switch up to Shin Geta Robo and abandon Neil Geta Robo, which Neil Get Geta Robo design isn't too bad. It's just like you know, um, I don't. Know, I, I have. It's more. I have a problem with the color schemes uh, and the fact that it's like, wow, well, like it. It like ultimate attack is basically it throws like a lightning bolt <laughs> like uh a pl- like a pl- plasma energy bolt which i forget was called plasma thunder i think the special attack was yeah so like our main characters are looking for it's like five years after the defeat of the reptilian empire our characters are tra- our characters are training in the new um neil get a robo which just like with get a robo it's Three jets that, depending on which combination they come together, they form three different robots. And it's just like with Get a Robo, where you have the one main robot that's like a general purpose robot, 
You have one that has like drill arms, or in this case, sword arms, and you have one that's like a tank, a tank uh, robot that's at the same time amphibious. Which how how are tank threads underwater? <laughs> Uh, you know, make make uh, something amphibious. I don't know, but whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, the show after that, the, um, you see them training, and the what the pilot for Getter One gets killed in in practice. So they they go. Uh, Hay Hayato is in charge of looking for a replacement. He goes to a repi uh, a fighting tournament where this one guy, Go Ichimonji, is a 17-year-old orphan whose parents died during the, um, the war five years ago with the reptilians, um, is fighting a mis like a mysterious op opponent who turns out to be a lizard man. And out you, there's this cool fight scene where you, he's trying to kill the... the He's trying to fight the, the 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 lizard man and his giant robot, which is the robot I mentioned with the two lizards in his neck, with the yeah huge uh, tail whips, and like he gets in Hayato, uh, get, get, gets him inside get her one, and they have the uh, not not get her one Neo get her one, and they have the uh, huge fight, and after that um, the the <laughs> Sorry, the Reptilian Empire shows up, still alive. King Gore King, or King Gore, who whatever, <laughs> who was who was the leader of the Reptilians, is still alive and is now a cyborg who becomes a giant robot. And they have this epic fight again. Uh, sorry, epic fight at the end where they fight the different henchmen of the. Of the uh, Gore King and Gore King at the uh, at the very end with Shin Getter Robo because they need the Getter Rays. Why they didn't just use Shin Getter Robo in the beginning? Well, it's because they couldn't get it to work because they need somebody with lots of willpower and fighting spirit to, to activate Getter Robo, which is that's uh, which Go In Jumonji has. Also, there's an American robot in the show called Texas Mac, which is piloted by this cowboy couple who are super annoying with their bad English that they say and, and a lot of cowboy puns like hi -oh, silver which the Texas Mac robot is actually pretty cool but it's kind of useless because it's armed with like with like gun um, revolvers and like you know a Winchester rifle and it has a giant, it has a giant horse that it rides to fly in the sky, which is kind of cool. But its its weapons are, it uses munitions, right? So it obviously it makes it kind of impractical. But I really like the whole like you know that they buried like um, huge coffins <laughs> in the ground, and like they'll pull it out of the ground, and there'll, there'll be like a huge sniper rifle. <laughs> Um, which they, which Texas Mac does for its like final, like final attack, which it can't use on ground targets. You can only use on like you know targets in the sky because that's how powerful it is. They would just you know destroy everything. So uh, it's the thing where I, I really like this this uh, OVA series, but it felt like obviously it's the thing where like couldn't they not have just edited it to why why did it need to be four episodes? Couldn't they? Couldn't they make a movie version, right? Because this basically feels like a movie, honestly. It just feels like a four-episode movie. Uh, so, like, the story felt a little rushed, but it's not as nonsensical as a lot of, like, Go Nagai works tend to be, which is, this is uh, directed by, what's his name? Jun Kalago, however, however you pronounce that, who directed... Mazen Kaiser Skull, which I've also seen that, and Super Robot Wars. I'm assuming the the TV shows, not the games. I'm assuming, which you know, I haven't seen the Super Robot show, uh, Super Robot Wars show yet. Which is not, it's not like the Super Robot Wars, like the the different anime characters crossover. 
uh, sorry, the mecha anime crossovers. That's only in the games, and the TV show is based off the OG Super Robot Wars, where they came up with their own original characters, and it's basically just a ripoff of uh, Gundam, which you know, it's still like you know, it's still cool, I guess. I heard good things. I I, I haven't seen it honestly, but you know, but it's a thing where they have the fit. They on YouTube, they don't have the first. Super Robot Wars anime, but you can watch the second Super Robot Wars anime. It's like, uh, I, you know, I can't do that. <laughs> I need to, I need to watch the first. I, I, I like to watch things, you know, in, you know, order, right? So honestly, it's the thing with this show, um, OVA series, is that. It's kind of short. It's not as ultra violent. And I'm sorry to compare this to Get a Robo Armageddon. But, you know, obviously, Get a Robo Armageddon being the first Get a Robo show I've ever seen. I'm going to have to compare it to that. Where that show had, like, a horror uh, kind of feel to it. This doesn't. This feels a little bit more. Uh, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't make let your kids watch it. But, you know, I, it's a little bit more like. Uh, I would say it's more. He, like you know, teenager friendly, where there, there's not, there's no nudity like the other show, and there, there's not as much ultra violence. There is some, but it's not as bloody and gory as Get a Robo Armageddon. And if I were to give this a rating, I would say it's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give it the same rating as the uh, again Get a Robo Armageddon. It's six, I would say it's a 6.5 out of 10. It's the thing where it's not as like good as Get Robo Armageddon as interesting, but it's the thing where this is. It's the thing where it's, you know, I it. This is more. This show is more for like normies, <laughs> like not normies, but like it's it's just a fun watch, right? That you can watch with your friends that you know don't care so much for the. Weird, ultra violent, <laughs> and sexual like anime movies, you know, <laughs> that you know most of Go Nagai stuff is like you know Devil Man and Violence Jack, and uh, yeah, so you, know, yeah, so this is more like you know a cool. This is like a cool show to watch with your friends, you know, during the like I don't know if you're just hanging out drinking beers or whatever or having a sleepover if you're. If you're still in that age <laughs> which you know I'm I'm in I'm like you know I'm way past that <laughs> all right guys that's it for today's review um yeah for our next super robot sorry <laughs> for our next weekly mecha anime reviews uh we're gonna review full metal panic I I promise we're all we're all we're practically halfway there all right guys all right peace let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of the show. And, um, no, like, honestly, I don't think I'll be able to review more Get a Robo stuff because, um, as far as I know, the only thing in print is Get a Robo Armageddon and this. Maybe when the new movie comes out, Discotech will buy the rights to the other Get a Robo shows. Which I won't hold my breath, but that would be cool. Like apparently there's, I think there's like a Get a Robo versus Mazinger Z or shit or like Devil Man or was that a manga? I don't know. But yeah, so that we'll we'll, we'll see. Like I, I think that new movie is coming out soon. So hopefully, you know, when that gets when that comes out. You know, it will be able to get it because we were able to get Mazinger Z Infinity for pretty close to its release date. So yeah, which will probably be the next Go Nagai Mecha series that we review. All right, guys, peace. Or that's a movie, nice.